separate these things. And of course, the phone rings and stops. Nope. Ah. Back to the channel behind me 1968 Kia and no this isn't the original intro I recorded uh, don't know if, if you watched the last episode uh, of the last episode I think it was the type 3 it's hiding back there now um, audios terrible switch cameras recently and I don't know if it's a, I'm having a mic issue failure or if my the camera's weird I don't know still learning it anywho this episode what we're gonna be doing is swapping out the front beam or installing a front beam I already took it out previous to recording this, but we're installing this one, putting in a front beam and uh, doing the, uh, shit, I, j I literally just edited it. What else are we doing? Oh, uh, spindle conversion, uh, putting this uh, gear, carbon gear disc spindles in because I got a spindle spindle beam and came with uh, drums. So no big deal. Swap it all out. Video went all right, I guess. I mean, like I said, bear with the audio. We'll, we'll, we'll sort it out in upcoming episodes. But stay tuned. Next scene, you'll, you'll see me in the front of the car. But yeah, this thing's finally coming together. Space is at a premium where I'm going to be recording. You are dirty. Huh. Anywho, um, I'm going to bump the car up just some. And uh, yeah, start sneaking this, this monstrosity in. Um, like I said, I still got the steering box that I have to fish around. Um, because there's, you know, no room to take it out or install it when it's in the car, uh, or to be, you know, when the beam's actually affixed to the chassis. So you got to kind of do it in a multi, multi-linguistical process. So let me get this thing up to hopefully clear the towers and then we'll scooch it in. Ah, uh, getting old. You high enough, hopefully. Yes, perfect. Uh, new body mounts. Just, you know, put them on. They're probably going to fall off, but, you know, just to say I had them there. All right, now, now what's the, I guess, what's the game plan? Lower and wiggle. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Ugh. Lowered. Ooh, that's really close. Ah, I just replaced the eight and I saw that up. Come back soon. All right, engine hoist. Let me get this thing, hopefully that clears. We'll be safe. We got the, the beam on the arms down here and then we'll slide this whole shoot match under, hook it up and whoop, draw it up. Two people guys, so much easier. <laughs> One arm. Hey, don't roll. Roll forward. Thank you. All right. Get out of my way. 
And hopefully gently slide this under to where I can snag it with the hook. The banging means it's working. We're still looking good. Ugh. Do I have hood clearance? Oh, we should be grand. Ah, oh, this is this is genius. Scooch over some though. Where are you going? All right, let's try to get this box in now. Come on. This steering shaft could be a little more convenient. Steering box in. Good. I rotate it some. Your body mounts. Ah, come on. You have to come slightly this way. The opposite way. That is looks mint enough. That did look mint enough. Why'd you move? There we go. Stay there. Body mount. Come here. Plate. Nut thing. Bolt thing. What have you. Let's get started. Let me get a... Oh, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Whew. Try to get the uh, body bolts in. This way it locates the beam and, you know, supports it some. Let me get a brum brum and snug them down, or at least snug that one down, align that one. And then hopefully we can swing the bottom in. Not making them too tight because they still have that flex because the beam is not completely located. But I want them to a point where I can swing it, get it hooked on the frame horns, and uh, yeah, at least run a bolt or two of the mains in. So give me a second. Let me get some, you know, screw action or impact these and uh get it tight i'll be right back all right got those bolts in gonna lift the car the beam hopefully should just relax ish into place to where i can get the main bolts in now overhead pull that out from the bottom get this thing out of the way What a pain. Um, so yeah, just get it in. Just break out your engine hoist. Um, but let me get this thing up, and we've got those uh, four big, oh, uh, we're on the floor. Four big main bolts. Let me get them aligned and shove them in. And then, what else? Yeah, we got to take off the uh, spindles to convert it to the disc spindles that Gia's have. So let me get this thing up in the air some more. And I'll be right back. There we go. Just swing it into place and let's throw these bolts in.
Nice. Good. I'll rotate you guys around some. Ugh. Yeah, four bolts. We'll shove these things in. Ugh. Two on the bottom, two on the top. All right, guys, next thing I'm going to get in, uh, the actual steering box. It's in position. There's two notches on this thing. They index on the beam. It also has two notches, so you really can't put it, hopefully, in the wrong spot. Yeah. <sighs> Want to get everything out of the way. Come on. Come, come on, arm. There we go. Oh, we'll put the cap in. Make sure it's on those index marks. Get these bolts pre-threaded. Uh, I can't see nothing. There we go. Uh, that's one. That's two. Are gonna be where they want to be. Yep. And let me get my air and just boop, boop, zip it down. That's the right. That's the right side. <laughs> All right. Are we in the notch? That looks good. What about the other side? Uh, no. Gotta come over my way somehow. Or do you find fellas? There we go. That's on. Pull the extension off. Zip this guy on. Move cable. In the notches, in the notches, everything's aligned, looks good. Perfect. So far going pretty, pretty okay. Um, don't know, don't know how much of a, you know, struggle bus all this is. Gotta go back and, you know, undercoat or, you know, reseal a lot of this stuff too. Already seam sealed. Um, just, you know, touch it up so it doesn't look as seam sealery. All right, let me get a, uh, let me get this thing down some, get some stuff together. Let me get this thing down some. We'll get, I'll get some wrenches together, and uh, yeah, we'll swap out, swap out some spindles. All right, guys, as promised, I'm gonna start taking the new spindles off, um, or you know, whatever, taking these spindles off, and we're gonna put the uh, original Gia disc brake spindles on. Is my face dirty like normal? I don't know, shadowing, we'll call it, but uh. Yeah, so what do I need? 19, 19, I think, pretty sure. Ugh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Huh. Break. Whatever, break now. Anywho, um, just gonna hopefully separate these easy because they were just assembled. Um, hopefully they just blow apart. Like that. Like, ah, oh, we need that. Where'd that go? That, go, that goes to the top.
and we'll blow apart the top one. Sneak this out, put the other one in. Get that out. Yeah, and just get this guy out of the way. Pry bar. Boop. And boop. Take the old spindle out. Put this in my infinite growing parts box. That's just flaky paint. Yeah, nice, nice tight new ball joints. A luxury. Like I said, I have shocks on order. For some reason they never showed up with my last shipment. Got shocks on order, and we have brake lines on order. Hopefully everything. But um, we're going to still get this to the point where, you know, wheels can possibly go on it. There's the driver's side. Just stay. Don't fall on my head. Camber thing. Not recommended. Where'd my prayer bar go? Go there. Ugh. Adjuster. Put that in. Prayer bar. And that's in. Washer, nut, affixed. Someone is, has a grill going, and I'm very disappointed they did not invite me. Because I'm going to have to fire mine up next. What do I do with the 19? There it is. are on locked down tight nice perfect um just for prosperity like i said we're getting new i'm not even gonna do it we have uh new lines coming so i'm not even gonna bother putting the uh calipers on but i do want to know where my tie rods went tie rods goes there stop come on it's all a line there we go that's in that's good
Just gonna loose fit these tire rods for right now. Just make sure everything gets acclimated to where it needs to be. Uh, we get the other side stabbed together. Um, same process as this side. So unless something you know arises, you'll join me with maybe a wrap up. I, I don't. I don't know. Is this is going a lot faster? Um, I thought it was would be, but stay tuned for whatever ramble I have next. Uh, let me, uh, like I said, tear apart the other side. Just trying to multitask and think. Um, is that 17? Yeah. Anyway, distraction. Squirrel is real. Let me uh, tear apart the other side and, uh, yeah, get the, um, get back to you with some other ramble. Might inspect those, see if they're... All right, front beam, simple, simple enough. That's in. Let me get these tie rods, uh, you know, where they need to be. They're already in, in their homes. So we'll just, you know, smoke them on. Hopefully the alignment isn't that, that off. You're tight now. You're just, I don't have a steering shaft connected. It's binding. Come on. Where's a long bolt? Let me just wedge, wedge it. All right, guys. Got everything attached. I'll just bring in and just give you a quick you know, tour, if you will. Um, tie rods obviously in. Inner outer. The bumpy, bushy thingy, uh, steering dampener. Still got to connect the steering, um, but I got to move the shaft down a little bit. Um, like I said, tie rods in, they move. Well, they're stiff, everything's new. Um, but yeah, front beam, front beam's installed. You know, all the bolts, so on and so forth. Same thing on this side. Uh, that tie rod, like I said, the bumper, you can see that there, uh, or the steering dampener. Um, Cotter, ra random, I mean, yeah, just quick front end, um, quickish front end, put her, putting on her, uh, but that'll wrap this part up, so let me, uh, let me get this thing down, and, uh, yeah, do a wrap up, because, like I said, we still gotta put the, uh, brake lines on, because the hoses are shot, um, passenger side has a huge cut in it, um, and, yeah, once I get all that buttoned up, we can, uh, bleed the brakes, because I wasn't planning on doing that. Like, you know, I wasn't planning on doing brake work on this car, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, we'll get that. We'll get that all sorted. Shocks will be in hopefully tomorrow, along with brake lines. Um, I got to make new rear ones because looked at them. They're not good either. I gotta, I'm going to do a hard line all the way back. I'll show you that when we get back there when we do the brake especial or spectacular. Um, leave that there because I got to get a clip for it. So I can run the speedo, but yeah, let me uh, get you set up and uh, I'll do a recap. But yeah, front beam install wasn't 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 too terrible. All right, guys, front front's in, front's complete. Uh, the beam's in, everything's good, everything's locked, water tight, so perfect. Waiting on, like I said, hopefully tomorrow I'll have the soft lines. We'll put the soft lines in. I'm sorry if you hear wind noise, but it is hot and I'm standing in front of the fan. Anyway. Um, Soft lines uh, come in. I'll reroute that. I have to do the back brake lines because they're bad. I'll show you. I'll show you both when we get onto the brake portion of this. Um, but yeah, at least now I can uh, attach the steering shaft, make sure those upper body mounts are tight, and uh, drop the gas tank. You know, put a new fuel line and stuff like that. But drop the gas tank in and actually get this thing running. All right, no, it has a bunch of electrical issue. I think we're swapping out the generator or the alternator to a single wire hookup because you'll, you'll see. I, I completely forgot about it when I took the car apart and I am not liking the way that this thing's wired. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, I, we're gonna actually make it safe and good. So Yes, Hank, and hopefully next episode we'll do the brakes and maybe get this thing fired. Obviously, I'm going to work on it progressively. Uh, again, like I said, I don't know how much I'm going to film of the car uh, just because 
Well, I mean, it's a lot of tedious stuff, especially when you're putting something together. Forget to order stuff, this, that, and that thing. So there's a bunch of breaks and projects, and I'm terrible at this YouTube thing anyway. So, anywho, if you like this episode, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. If you do, promise you, we will chit chat. As always, thanks for watching, and hopefully, see you on the next one.